Hello and welcome to Star Trek is Life. In this video we will take a look at what happened during the Battle of Wolf 359. So let's go ahead and get started. In 2366, the cube entered the Wolf system. The Borg cube, that is. Locutus hailed the assembled fleet, ordering the ships therein to disarm and escort the cube to the Sol system. Immediately thereafter, the fleet engaged in the Borg. The Excelsior class USS Melbourne was among the first ships to be destroyed, with its saucer section partially vaporized while approaching the Borg cube. The Miranda class USS Saratoga was quickly neutralized thereafter. When the Ambassador class USS Yamaguchi and the Nebula class USS Bellerfon rushed to the rescue of the disabled ships, they too were destroyed, along with numerous other starships entering the combat zone. Their valiant efforts notwithstanding did not prevent the eventual destruction of the USS Saratoga and the USS Bonestell. Locutus, armed with the assimilated tactical knowledge of Picard, directed the battle from the Borg side. After bare minutes of combat, the fleet was faced with utter defeat. Admiral Hansen attempted to rally the remaining ships to launch a last-ditch assault, but his ship was destroyed shortly thereafter. His final words to Captain Riker of the Enterprise, whom he contacted briefly during the course of the battle, was, The fight does not go well, Enterprise. We are attempting to withdraw and regroup. Rendezvous with fleet. Communications were cut off in the midst of his transmission, and no further transmissions were received. Ultimately, 39 starships were lost, with a total loss of nearly 11,000 lives. Many people were assimilated. By the time that the Enterprise arrived, there were no signs of life or power readings from the remaining hulk. And that, my Star Trekker friends, is what happened during the Battle of Wolf 359. If you appreciate the information presented in this video, please consider subscribing to this channel. And remember, Star Trek is life.